Hey y'all. I am in the house and in the tiny house trying to get things situated in here. Um, I have the generator going. I got a heater going. Um, and trying to get pictures home, but I've got some getting in the bathroom and try to fix this wallpaper and i got pictures that i got to hang so i'm gonna let you guys watch me don't worry i'm gonna put it in fast mode and you guys kind of watch me work I'm not done in the bathroom. I still gotta find a lot more of my stuff so I can put under the bathroom sinks. Um, I'm trying to get the pictures where I kinda want them. This mirror is going in um, my bedroom above the bed. Um, I gotta change my bedroom around and make room because I gotta get my dresser from the other house um i've got two shelves and my silver shelves um and my two stools i'm gonna bring those so i can kind of fix that up over there for my um coffee maker um my toaster stuff like that later on i might get a small refrigerator um and then again i don't know um, cause you guys know my water, my water dispenser thing, it also heats up. So, I can make, um, hot cocoa if I want, hot tea, whatever. Um, but, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put some of my stuff. This in here. Um. I can't really put anything up for the kitchen area until I get my shelf. Um, I've already stained um, two of my shelves. I gotta finish the other side. And I'm gonna have shelves over here on this wall. Let me show you. I know guys, um, it's a mess. Um, that wall over there is where I'm gonna put some shelves so I have glasses and some of my coffee cups. Um, and that away, um, that's going to be like my little coffee area. Um, but the other one, I'm thinking about putting it there when you come in the door. Then again, I might put it up against the window over here. Um, and have it to where it's going to be kind of like this. Um, 
and then you guys know I have two stools so I can put one there well the two there and kind of have that as a sitting area okay now this bedroom um, the bed is out because you know we've been having to work on um, generators and trying to get that done um, I had some issues where my electricity wasn't working again and come find out it was just um the lug nut the, the, the nut wire um that you put on the what do you call it the wire nut was not tight enough it wasn't getting good connection so um i had tightened that up got that fixed um let's see trying to think what else guys i know it, it, it's a work in progress and i'm trying my best to get some of the things put up the way i want them um but i as you guys know i'm going from basically a 1200 square foot home to 500 square foot home so um yes i know um but that's basically all I need. Um, I will be having a yard sale um, probably this summer um, to get rid of some of my stuff because I'm really not going to need it. Um, but I do have some of my clothes here. We did get those. We did get some of the, the two clothes racks. I got to put those together. Um, but I cannot put anything in here until I finish getting that done. Um, feel like I'm kind of closing in on myself right now um because I've got stuff and I can't put it somewhere um and I'm trying my best to figure out where I'm going to put it um I do have um a shed um as you guys know the shed that I had um the wind damaged it and um I can't afford to buy another one so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna try my best to get some two by fours and see if I can screw the top of the shed into some two by fours and reinforce it with some weight and um, I'm not worried about dents on the outside dents you know hey it's just a shed to kind of um, store some of my stuff um, but i appreciate you guys for um all your prayers and stuff um i'm trying to get this stuff done but um i'm gonna tell you guys uh depression sucks okay um some days i have um where i have a little energy and i want to do stuff and then i have days where um i really just don't want to do anything and um i don't feel like it it's just um kind of one of those things i guess that you know i am having to go through um having to lose my home and um then also trying to um handled the loss of my husband and um my funds are you know you might as well say gone um i'm trying my best no my house is not paid for okay this tiny house is not paid for um i am paying payments on it um i am getting a little from the va to kind of it was hubby's retirement fund um, they told me, I guess that's a retirement fund. Um, they just told me if I go to work, I lose it. I get any other, um, other stuff, you know, from family or anything. It, I could lose my benefits. Um, they know about my YouTube channel. Um, and you guys know, um, it takes anywhere from five to six months to even get a hundred dollars on my channel. And... I'm trying um, I am really trying to get back on my feet 
and it's hard, really hard. And the moving process, um, I still probably have two more loads of stuff that I got to get from the house. Um, it's just very hard and expensive. Um, you house charge you a dollar nine per mile and they also charge you uh, for the rental of the truck how many days you rent the truck and I mean gas things are expensive um, and I'm having to kind of do it in stages okay I'm not trying to go out and um, spend money on unnecessary things um, I had someone say, well, you got the solar system. Why do you need the generator? The solar system that I bought, okay, the generator that come with it, it was something wrong with it. And it would not let any power, it wouldn't power anything, okay. The power was going to, um, to it from the solar, and it got fully charged, but it wouldn't let it go to the um, thing that's on the wall. So... That's all I can say. Um, they're um, supposed to be fixing it or sending me another one. Um, it's already done chipped, and I'm having to wait on that. And for me to get um, things done out here, I really needed um, a generator where I could go ahead and be out here working without being on my mom's light bill, you know, her electricity. Because um, I know y'all probably say, well, you can run a central cord. I did that for a while, but you know what? It was cold. And you couldn't really run that much on the central cord because it would throw my mom's breakers. Um, so I said, well, you know what? I'm tired. I had to go in and flip breakers and do this. So what I did is I went to um, Harbor Freight, got a um, gasoline generator, and my brother-in-law hooked it up to the panel that I already have so that way I could flip the switch and I would be on my generator um, the gas generator so I am kind of fixed to where um, if the solar it's real cloudy and I don't get to ch get any charge um, from the sun I can use my backup gas generator all I have to do is swip, swip, flip the switch and I'm done okay I can go from my solar to the gas um, generator. I can swap it up anyway. Um, plus I have the gas generator ill. The electricity goes out at my mom's. Um, say we have um, ice storms or something um, or just bad weather and the electricity goes out um, say for several days and my mom's freezers um, well my freezer and my refrigerator is in my mom's and if it goes out, you know, with no electricity, at least I can hook up and, you know, keep everything cold. Um, but I'm kind of thinking of other ways how to use that. I mean, even if, say, I'm outside and I'm making another chicken coop um, and I don't need electricity, I can hook up to this and go on, you know, and do what I got to do. I don't have to worry about, you know, my mom's light bill getting high. And, um... Uh, as you guys know, um, egg prices have just went literally crazy. Um, thank God. Um, I did go ahead. My mom was wanting um, 18 eggs from the grocery store. That was $7.98. Um, because my chickens, they had, you know, kind of... Um, slacked off because of the move and everything and um, now we're getting eggs um, so that way we don't have to buy eggs now this spring we will be putting a garden in outside um, so that we can grow our own vegetables um, so that way um, I don't have to worry about food because um, like I told my mom you know I can can stuff um, we can put stuff in our freezer, things like that, um, to kind of help with the groceries. Um, I mean, I may, if I have to, I eat romaine noodles. Um, 
I know it's not good for you, but um, until I get my garden going. <laughs> but um, I'm not the type to um, rely on state trying to get food stamps or anything. I don't want them. Um, and the reason is it's because it's a hassle and it's just too much trouble. And I mean, what's fifty dollars going to give me? That's not going to give me uh, any help with food. I'm like, I grow my own. You know, I have my own eggs. I ain't worried about meat. Um, I like vegetables. Um, but I'm gonna let you guys go. And um, but I have been trying to get some stuff done in here. Um, I did get some little space heaters for in here. The the little ones that don't use so much um, current. Um, so that way I won't be throwing breakers. Now I did have two on here and it threw the breaker. Um, cause I had too much going on one side of the wall and I got that fixed. Um, but I'm just in the process guys of trying to get things done and hopefully the next video I have, I will be showing you guys me putting up the shells once they get dry um and hopefully get finished putting the rest of this stuff up all right guys i love y'all god bless and back to work for me but see y'all next time